Hello, and welcome to Barnsdale Junior Arts Center's online piano series. My name is Vera Lugo, and I'm a piano instructor at Barnsdale. This is the third video in our series, so if you're new to this series, you might want to check out the first two lessons. Today, we're going to talk about the finger numbers and which keys are which. By the end of this video, you'll be able to play a song on the piano just by following the notes and the finger numbers I'm going to show you. In piano, each of your fingers has a number. The same fingers on each of your hands have the same number. Here's the first thing to remember. Thumb is one. Your thumb on either hand is number one, and the numbers go from there. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to talk about the notes on the keyboard. We already know about C, but there's actually a whole musical alphabet. Don't worry, you don't have a lot of new stuff to learn. The musical alphabet is this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's it. When you get to G, you start over again at A. And you have the same thing again. All right, let's take this to the keyboard. Put your right hand thumb, number one, on middle C. Remember, C is the note that's down and to the left of a group of two black keys. And middle C is the one in the middle of the keyboard. We'll start with C, but the alphabet just keeps going in order as you get higher on the keyboard. Now watch this. C, C, E, F, G. One, two, three, four, five. Hear how the notes, the pitches, get higher as you move up the keyboard? That's how it works. Guess what the next note after G is? It's A. And after that, is B, and then you're at C again, down and to the left with two black keys. For now, we're just going to use C, D, E, F, G, and our finger numbers. Let's do this a few times. Play C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, three times. Play the note names out loud as you go. I want you to play number three, which should be E. This one, did you get it? Now play number five, G. Good job. Okay, how about number two, G. Good job. And what about number four, F? You got it. And last, let's play C, number one. Awesome. Now that we know the finger numbers and these five notes, let's see if we can play a song you might know. Try this, play Three, two, one, two, three, three, three. You recognize that? It's a song called Mary Had a Little Lamb. You might have heard it before. Let's repeat that. Three, two, one, two, three, three, three. Now play two, 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 three, five, Five, three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, two, three, two, one, five, one. That's it. You just played a whole song. How cool is that? All right, let's try it again, but this time with our left hand. Put your left hand fifth finger on middle C. We're going to play five, four, three, two, one on our left hand. What you'll notice is C, D, E, F, G. The same notes as the right hand. Notice how even though it's the same notes, our finger numbers are opposite. Remember how I said each finger is the same number on both hands? That means thumb is one on both the right and the left hand. So when we're working with both hands, we have to remember that the numbers might be different when we move from left to right, from low to high. So let's try to play Mary Had a Little Lamb again, but with our left hand now. The notes are gonna stay the same, but the finger numbers will be different. This time we play it like this. Three, four, five, four, three, 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 Four, 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 three, one, one. Three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, four, three, four, five, one, five. Let's look at this note, G. 
It's a white key. These are the notes above and below the letter name notes. So here we have G, G flat, and G sharp. Flat is always low, and sharp is always high. To help remember, you can think about a basketball and a pin. If a basketball loses some air, what do we call it? We call it flat. It gets lower when it loses air, so lower equals flat. For sharp, imagine that you sat on something sharp. That would make you stand up immediately, right? So sharp equals high. Since when we play from a white key to a white key, we're usually skipping a key. Do you notice that, that black key in between? This is called a whole step. A half step is when you play from one note to the one right next to it, whether it's a white or a black key. You wanna keep all of these half steps and whole steps in mind for the future. So there's a whole step. There's a note in, note in between. And there's a half step. There's no note in between. Nothing you could possibly play between those two notes on the piano. And when you go down from G to G flat, that's a half step. When you go from G to G sharp, that's a half step also. We'll cover more of this in our next lesson. So let's review what we've learned today. Our finger numbers, thumb is one, and then we have two, three, four, five. We have our musical alphabet, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. And now you can play a whole song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. We also talked about flats and sharps. Remember that's low and high. So the note below and the note above, half step and whole step. In our next lesson, we're going to explore all of the notes in the musical alphabet and learn about something called scales. Get ready. See you next time.